Harry, great race. Second place finish at the Chelsea and Westminster London Duathlon. Um, did you plan a second place finish this morning when you came here? Um, I hadn't. I mean, I, I was hoping for top three, but I didn't really know what the rest of the field was going to be like. And then I sure recognised a few familiar faces from um, Budapest, the European age group who are racing. So I then thought, OK, my chances are quite good. Um, and how did, the, how did the race start out for you? I mean, there was a group of you that got away on the bike, five of you that got away. Yeah. How's the first run? So the first run felt felt fast. I mean, initially there was a couple of guys that had gone away, but then a few of us then bridged the gap. So we did come in as a fairly strong pack and pretty much thought, OK, the bike, we're likely to stick together. But I think Julia and I tried to do a few breaks on whenever there was a little rise, but I think a lap's just too short to really make that much of a difference. So it was always going to really come down to that last run. Quite, quite fast and furious, the, the distance is 5K, yeah. 20K, 5K. That's kind of almost harder than the longer stuff, isn't it? It, it is because you kind of, I guess, on the on you get fewer opportunities to sort of make a difference. So, I mean, I'm not sure. You know, the guys who I was racing against at Budapest, some of the guys who I'd beaten then seem to be hanging on very well on the run. So I think, had it been maybe 10k or slightly longer, it might have been a bigger gap. But uh, and have you yeah. raced it before? I did this um, two times before, but never in the elite race. Just always it's an age group. I mean, it's, it's such an amazing place and, and is, yeah. really a unique opportunity for duathletes athletes mm -hmm. to race on completely closed roads yeah. in, in such beautiful surroundings. No, it's fantastic. I mean, I'm a local boy. I live in Putney, so this is my local park. And so, you know, it's fantastic. I know the roads very well. Um, I, I think it's a great place for cyclists and runners, so it's great to see it. Quite handy to know the roads here as well. Um, yeah. I was talking with Julian and, and we discussed the fact that, you know, some of the, even though it's not so technical, there are some kind of short, sharp descents, aren't they? That actually quite dangerous if you're, if you're not familiar with yeah. the roads. No, that's right. I think it does definitely help to know the, the course, especially the sort of short rises. You know, they, you might think, oh, there's a hill. It's not that steep, but until you've actually done yeah. it, you don't really realise. So, yeah. yeah. And yeah. just 12 seconds separating you and the eventual winner. <laughs> Did you not just have that extra bit? Yeah, in the tank? I, I kind of. Um, I mean, Phil left me on the uh, on the hill. He sort of powered up, um, and I thought if I tried to follow that, I would likely blow up. I always knew that my descending, you know, running was quite strong. I tried to bridge the gap, but in the last sort of K, he put in another spurt. And by that stage, I was just, uh, yeah, didn't really have anything left. Well, you always kind of kick yourself when you come over the finish line and realise it's only 12 seconds, though, don't yeah, you? Yeah, 12 seconds. 12, I didn't realise it. Yeah, it's only 12 <laughs> seconds. But I suppose in a kilometre to sure. sort of to make up 12 yeah. seconds, you know, is, is quite a lot. Mm. But um, Well, next year, I mean, I've got some confidence now that, you know, it's, it's doable, so, yeah. You're not, are you off to the World Championships? I'm off to the World, um, yeah, in two weeks. Brilliant. So forward to that. Okay, and what, what, what goals have you got for, for your well, race I, there? I would like to get gold, actually. I got silver at the yeah. Europeans, so I'd like to do that just, you know, one step up. Have you checked out the course in the States? I've checked it out, yeah. Um, looks fairly flat, looks quite technical, which I think would probably suit me, actually. Um, my bike handling skills are quite good, so... So this has been a perfect race as, as a warm-up, yeah. to just get you fired up. And That's right, yeah. Just doing a couple of last sort of tweaking races before two weeks time and then um, hopefully rested and tapered and yeah brilliant back with that goal. and you'll be back here again next year definitely definitely excellent brilliant Thank lovely you. talking to yeah, you you too Thank and you. i'll see you again soon Thank you.